Hey guys, today I want to present a solution for the IMO 2022 problem 4. Let's have a look on the picture. A uh, pentagon A, B, C, D, E is given such that B, C is equal to D, E. Now we take a point T inside the pentagon such that T, B is equal to T, D and T, C is equal to T, E and the angles a, B, T and A, E, T are equal. Now we take the intersection of A, B with the line C, D, this is called P, and the intersection with the line A, B with the line T, C, this is Q, and also in the same way we take the intersection of the line A, E with C, D, this is R, and with A, E with D, T, this is S. Our goal is to prove that S, P, R and Q lie on one circle. The first thing we can notice is that in the triangles TBC and TDE all sides have the same length. Therefore these two triangles are congruent. So TBC and TDE Therefore, we know that all the angles in these two triangles have equal measure and therefore we know that this angle here is equal to this angle here. So angle BGC is equal to angle DTE. Therefore, we know that the angles STE and the angle QTB have the same measure. Now, we have a look on the triangle QTB and on the triangle STD and we see that they have at first this angle here equal and also this angle here equal. This means that they are similar. From this we get that also the last angle in these two triangles have the same measure and also we get that QT divided by ST is equal to TB divided by T. But we also know that TB is equal to TD and TE is equal to TC. So we can write this expression as TD over TC. Now, if we multiply that by the denominator on both sides, we get that this is equivalent to QT times TC is equal to ST times TD. By power of a point on point T, we now know that the points S, Q, C and D lie in one circle. Let's draw in this circle. Now, in order to prove that S, Q, R and P lie on a circle, we want to do an angle chase. Therefore, we have a look on the angle S, Q, P. This angle is exactly the same than the angle S, Q, T. Minus the small angle here, so minus angle B, Q, T. Now, since we already find out this cyclic quadrilateral, we know that angle S, Q, T, which is also the same as angle S, Q, C, is equal to the angle S, D, C. So, this is equal to angle S, D, C. 
And as we also figured out earlier, we know that angle BQT is equal to angle TSE. So this is angle TSE. Now angle SDP is the same than 180 degrees minus angle RDS. So this is equal to 180 degrees minus angle RDS. And angle TSE is exactly the same angle than DSR. So minus angle DSR. Now we have a look on the triangle DSR. And here we have two of the three angles of the triangle and we have 180 degrees uh, in the front. And since we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees, we know that this fraction must be the third angle in this triangle, and this is angle SRD. So this is equal to angle SRD. What we figured out now is that angle SQP is equal to angle S. Are P, and this means that the points S, Q, R, and P lie on a circle.